All right, no worries. Hello, guys. Today I'm interviewing Carl Davis. He is currently 1-0. and And my first question is, um, how's training going? Because I, I, I know you were meant to fight this Friday, but unfortunately the show got cancelled. Are you gutted Yeah, that we'll, your fight got cancelled? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. I mean, um, these things happen. Uh, I'm just happy that I was ready, like the weight was ready, everything was ready for the fight. I mean, I didn't get the fight, but I've gained some experience along the way in the training camp, which is um, which is a positive. Yeah. Would, are you, you going to have a fight date announced uh, soon? Hoping for it, just looking for one. I mean, I'm staying ready, getting back in the gym uh, tomorrow. So we're just going to stay ready and hopefully something comes up soon. Yeah. What went wrong with that show? Because the whole card's off. Yeah, I just think it was um, just not enough bouts on. I think a few lads uh, picked up injuries and it just meant that there wasn't enough fights on for the night to go ahead. Oh, that, that is a shame. I was looking forward to your fight as well, mate. I know, it is a shame, but, I mean, these things happen. It's boxing, but... Uh, as long as everybody is okay from their injuries and fit to fight next time, I guess that's all that all that matters really. Yeah, that's the main thing. Um, uh, well, you did have your pro debut this year. Um, I I did manage to watch it, which is a good thing. Yeah. On I think it was live streamed. I can't really remember. But yeah. I, I, I think it. I think there's a video on YouTube as well, maybe. Yeah, I, I thought you did very very well, mate. Yeah, it was good. We knew he was a durable opponent. I think he'd only been stopped twice by the time I boxed him. Um, so the plan was to just, if the stoppage come, the stoppage come. But the main fact was just to look good and just to get the win. Yeah. And you did manage to get the win, which is the main thing. And you won yeah. every single round. Yeah. He's been in there with a few good names as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. I think um, it's not long since I think he boxed two, maybe ten rounders with Marcus Morrison. I think he's boxed, he's boxed quite a few good people. I think he's won uh, an area title as well, maybe in the past. So he was a decent opponent. Yeah, hard opponent to get out of there. Yeah, definitely. It was um, He knew how to survive and he knew how to make it through four rounds. Yeah, do you, did you know who you were fighting, um, who you were meant to fight on Friday? Uh, yeah, I was supposed to fight Alvis Dube, I think, but he did pick up an injury a week before, so we were still looking for an opponent, really. Uh, whether it, We were trying to get a six-rounder, but we actually didn't have an opponent, to be fair, so it could have been anyone by the time the night come. Yeah. You like heavyweight, then, mate? Yeah, light heavyweight. Uh, we're looking at super middleweight as well, but at the minute we're, we're sticking around light heavyweight. So your first fight was at light heavy, yeah? Yeah, I was a light heavyweight. I think he was a bit heavier, but yeah, I was light heavy. Ho hopefully your manager gets you a fight soon. Yeah, I think they're trying. It's just to make sure we get the right fight and the right show. We don't want to rush anything. Yeah. Um... How many more fights do you want to have this year? Of course, you've you've had your debut, which was good. You you yeah. were meant you were trying to get out this Friday, but um, unfortunately that couldn't happen. So so yeah, how many more? Uh, hopefully, try to get two more. Probably two more before the year ends because uh, I'm going away in September. So that means around that period I'm missing it out. So we're trying to get one before. August, and then see if we can get one round December, maybe October, November time, and then maybe look to have more next year. So maybe two more this year? Yeah, two more next year, and then hopefully try to get four a year, uh, if yeah. possible. Keep building your record up. Yeah, just keep going, keep getting experience and keep getting wins, and then uh, hopefully a big opportunity will come. Yeah. Let me know when your next fight is because I, I always will try to come to support you, mate. Yeah, definitely. If you can make it down, uh, I can sort you out some tickets. So I'll get you in.
Yeah, thank you. Yeah, who's, no your, problem. who's your favourite current fighter? Favourite current fighter is, um, I'm going to have to say Canelo, I would say. Yeah, he's moving up to light heavy, isn't he? Yeah, he is, he is. He's fighting, I'm not sure, is he fighting this week or maybe next week? Definitely yeah, this, this week, month. this week. Is it this week? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Against Bivol. Yeah, who do you think is going to win? Uh, my money's on Canelo, let's be realistic. Yeah. Yeah, you can't you can't ever uh, you can't ever bet against him, can you? Because he always finds a way. Yeah. I, at the time of the stoppage when he stopped Caleb Plant, I, I did have him losing the fight at the time. Yeah, I mean he did the same with Kovalev, didn't he? As well, he was just patient and knew he would uh, do the job in the end. I think that's what makes him so good. Yeah, he he's just class, isn't he? Yeah. Very class and very just cool under pressure. Yeah. Any other boxer that you 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 like watching? Um, I like Jared Ennis. Uh, he's on the come up. I like Errol Spence as well. They're probably my top three to watch. So um, from the pack. Oh, go on, carry on. Do you think Errol? Did you watch Errol Spence? Ooh, yes. Yeah, I watched that one. I thought it was a very good performance. Yeah. So hopefully it's now Crawford v Errol Spence. I think that's what it's got to be really to decide who's the best. Yeah. Who do you There's think no will win? That? Uh, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. I lo- I like them both. Um Yeah. Not too sure. I couldn't split them two. Well, I'm looking forward to that fight. Yeah, definitely. I think it would be, a, be a good one to watch that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um. It, it, so your manager's Carl Greaves, isn't it? Uh, no, that's my promoter. Scott Lawton is my manager. What's the difference with a manager and a promoter? Um, I think this is what I think. I think the promoter is the one that organise the shows and puts the shows on and then I yeah. think your manager um, organises sponsorship, sparring obviously is the one that speaks to the promoter about the fights, he's the one that gets all the information back from the promoter that is what I think, I'm not, I'm not too ah. sure wow. but yeah there is a difference, there is a difference Yeah, did you did you sell many tickets for your, your, your first fight, your debut? Yeah. Yeah, I think, to be honest, I sold um, off the top of my head, maybe 130, 100, I mean, maybe it was about 150 around there. Uh, that was ringside and standard ticket. So, so, so uh, pretty, I do, so quite a lot. Yeah, no, yeah, I've got a, quite a good, um, a good team behind me and good fans as well. Uh, just because even if I fought locally or not locally, they all, they all say they won't come, so... It's always a good night out. Yeah. Weren't you fighting on the Jamie Stewart undercard on your debut? Yeah, so Jamie boxes out of my gym as well. Um, Jamie yeah. does. I, I've a lot around Jamie. with Jamie. Yes, I know. I saw. I saw. I spoke to him the other day at the gym and said it was a good interview. He's yeah. a good lad, Jamie is. Good fighter, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I've done a lot of rounds with Jamie. He's fast. I, I thought um that he was meant to fight Friday as well. Yeah, he was as well. Um, Jamie was as well. One of the ones that could box as well. So I think he's a little bit disappointed. But we've all said that uh, we'll just be two times, if not ten times better next time we get out anyway. So he's just yeah. waiting for that next day now. Who else is now. in your gym? Uh, I'm not sure who you've interviewed who's in the gym. Uh, James Hughes, we've got Becky yeah. Ferguson, who, who's had quite a few. Uh, Ryan Biffle. And then we've got Cash as well, who's had seven, who's just come back from... He actually got stabbed not long ago. So he's just recovered and he was fighting on Friday as well. He's a good fighter. Yeah. I watched um, Ryan Biffle. Um, he was on the same card as you. 
Yeah, I think got a first round stoppage actually. He did, uh, yeah. Yeah, very, yeah, Ryan's very a good, good lad. Fighter. Yeah, good, awkward southpaw. Uh, always causes issues, southpaws do. Yeah, uh, and then James Hughes is good as well. Yeah, James, I think he had his debut. Uh, yeah, he had his debut on when I had mine as well. Yeah. A similar weight to me. Be- Becky Ferguson's good as well. Yeah, she's had quite a few now, Becky. She does really well. She uh, goes anywhere. In fact, anyone, she's had some good wins along the way as well. Yeah, she beat um, Hannah Bagley, I think. Yeah, I can remember that. That wasn't I think that might have been her fight just before the home show fight. So not too long ago that wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, they all work hard though. So that, that you, when you work hard, you get the results. Yeah. So, so were you from Stoke, mate? Yeah, Stoke on Trent. Yeah, and that's yeah. where we all box. That's where we're all from. Uh, I think Becky was originally from somewhere else, but she's ended up moving to Stoke now with the gym being in Stoke. Yeah. So. Um, What's the gym? So she can train more. Impact Boxing. It's owned by Scott Lawton as well. Yeah. Wait, so is that all of their managers as well? Yeah, yeah. Scott's everyone's manager uh, in the gym. Yeah. He's got quite a few fighters. I heard that Jamie might be fighting for the uh, English title, I've heard him saying. Do you know what? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's out of the question. Obviously, he's just won that area title now. So Good performance. Um, I've, yeah, yeah, it was as well. Um, ended up being a real dominant performance. He was patient and he got the job done uh, in style as well. Yeah. He, he dropped yeah, no, on his way, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did. He, there was not a mark on Jamie by the end of the fight either. But he, yeah. he worked he, he worked hard, very hard. So, yeah. like I said, if, if you put the effort in and the work in, um, the results will just come with that. Yeah, I mean, I thought um, that was a pretty heavy stoppage. Um, no, not stoppage, like a heavy knockdown when Jamie knocked him down. Yeah, I think it was the Alex's name who we boxed. Yes. Um, he, 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 he put a real good performance up as well. It was really good from both of them. It was good to finish my fight and get to watch that, really. It was um, both boxers did a good showing and he did well to get up and, and carry on and still box a good fight, to be honest. Yeah. Jamie also fought Florian Marku. He did, yeah. That was a good a good I fight. I thought he beat well. him. A good opportunity. Yeah, without the knockdown, um, from the scorecards, without the knockdown, he would have got the win. He would have got the win, but maybe he did the right thing, take the knee, and that, and that let him stay out the rest of the fight, and he got the draw. Yeah. Good, good fighter Marku is, isn't he? Yeah, he looked very strong. Uh, he did. A, he had a good performance not long ago, didn't he? So yeah. it shows what kind of fighter he is as well. He's not. He's not a joke. Yeah. Um, and my last question is: Do you have any advice for people who want to get into boxing? Uh, yeah, I'd say just enjoy it at the start. Keep enjoying it, and. Um, you just got to keep at it. It'll all come in the end. Not everyone's perfect or or it's not always easy at the start, but uh, the more you keep at it, the easier it'll get. Yeah. And that, is there anyone like your manager or you, your sponsors that you want to shout out? Yeah, I'll shout out all of them. So I have got them here. So we've got CNG Equine, who's actually my mum's business, who sponsors me. We've got Magna Projects Air Limited. Then we've got Elevation Brickwork as well. And then I want to shout out all the team at Impact, Joe, Scott, Colgreave, Jace, who's always there, and um, all the lads of this camp that give me sparring. So we've got Shakan Pitt as I sparred with, Anthony Yard, Derek Azaz, um, did some rounds with Sam Eggington. So all them uh, give me the time to get me ready for this fight. So I just want to shout out everyone for this camp. And then hopefully next time, have a win at the end of it as well yeah i just want to say a massive thank you for your time mate and oh no anytime anytime hopefully and hopefully i can come yeah. and support you mate yeah and hopefully next time we speak it'll be two and out yes hopefully i'm sure it will be mate 
Yeah, I'm sure it will. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. Many thanks for your time. Thank you. No worries. No worries. Bye, mate. Bye, bye.